Hey all, hope you're doing well. Uh, promised I'll give you an update uh, once I went for a full medical post-COVID infection. So for those of you that uh, know, I contracted COVID around three and a half weeks ago. Um, I, I was definitely symptomatic. Uh, it wasn't the worst illness that I've ever experienced, but it was a roller coaster ride and not very pleasant at all. Um, Post-infection, I did mention that I suffered from post-viral fatigue. I'm still feeling a little bit of that fatigue. Um, it has subsided, but it hasn't gone. And yesterday I went for full bloods um, with a sports physician just to make sure that my engine is in good working order because if you're going to put stress on the body and exercise is a stress on the body, you need to make sure that the body is going to cope with that stress. So I want to make sure there's no post-infection underlying conditions, etc. Anyway, my bloods just came back and I said I would share them with you. They are not a pretty picture. Um, they're not a pretty picture. So um, I'll just... I'm going to be completely open. My MCHC levels show that they were low. Um, that's mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration, basically hemoglobin on red cell. Uh, generally, it's a sign of anemia, maybe low iron. But very interesting fact, my iron is elevated. My iron is elevated. And the thing is, is that, and the sports physician mentioned this yesterday, is one of the symptoms that she's seeing post-COVID infection is excessively elevated iron levels um, in post-COVID sufferers. So, and that can be very toxic to the system. So you've got to understand it's not a good situation to be in. Now, I'm probably in a little bit of an advantage state here because I'm a plant-based eater. So my iron levels have always been on the lower end. And even though <laughs> they've been on the lower end, they're elevated, which is not great. The second test that I'm not happy with is liver function. My liver function is out of whack. I mean, my alanine and aspartate amino transferase are both high. So that's both. That's basically both my LT and ST levels. The glutamyl transferase levels are very high. I can actually feel it. It could be one of the reasons why I'm experiencing fatigue, um, a bit of tiredness, and I just feel that my body's not firing on all cylinders. My liver function is out of whack. I need to actually focus on getting that correct. Um, it has never been that high in absolute years. The last time it was that elevated, I think, was maybe about 15 or 20 years ago, um, with, where I had an Epstein-Barr virus attack, but really, really um, not happy with that. I'm still waiting for one or two more results to come out. Uh, one of them is a, a, a D-dimer test, which I, I ran for clotting because I wanted to see that. That's another symptom of COVID, is blood clots. But why I wanted to share this with you is you know, us athletes, we always want to get back into training. And over the last week, I have been doing light exercise. I've been keeping my heart rate really controlled and, and not pushing myself at all. I've been keeping it really down in mainly zone one, a little bit of zone two effort, um, and not stressing myself out. My biggest fear was that I've been putting stress onto the body, which is not really for it. So this just goes to show that you cannot put down the foot on the accelerator and pump the gas into the engine, especially uh, when there's an underlying condition, because you don't know what it's going to trigger and you don't know what it's going to cause. And the last thing you want to do is play games with your health. So for any of you that have suffered from a COVID infection and it's post-infection, don't just think you can jump back into training. If I was you, and this is highly recommended, go to a physician, run a full set of bloods, and make sure that your body is in clean, good, perfect health before you put any stress on it. Because the last thing you want is to land up in a very serious situation, which is too late to take back. So that's just what I wanted to share with you today. Um, please share this video, make sure people understand that post-COVID infection, there are still issues and they need to be dealt with. Um, it's not something that you must just leave just because you got over what you think is a flu and it's not a flu, we know that it's a novel virus, we don't know much about it. Please just make sure that your body's in good working order before you put it under stress. Go for a full medical, get checked up, and get a full, clean bill of health before you even decide to do some exercise. That's it for today. I'll chat soon.